Hi guys, it's Amy Walker. So we're going to go into our online marketing opportunities and this is just in your market, marketing opportunities tab in your AWC client tracker. And first thing we're going to talk about are your um, speaking opportunities online if you like to speak. Now I want to show you, so the purple represents speaking opportunities, the green represents pay to play opportunities. Um, the red represents technical opportunities, yellow represents people engagement, blue represents writing. So what you'll notice in the online market on marketing is that oftentimes you have two things, two skill sets that you need because there is more technical that goes on in the online world. And uh, so let's just jump in and start it. So let's talk about if you love to speak, where should you be playing online? A YouTube channel is a great one. YouTube is the largest social sharing uh, network online. It's bigger than all others combined. So if you take Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest, um, YouTube beats all of them. So what you're doing there is you're creating engaging, shareable content that will help build fans and followers. Uh, you can do a pretty successful YouTube channel with very little technical stuff. iPhones actually take great video or you can get a little flip cam. I do recommend that you get an extendable um, microphone with a long enough cord that you can use a little lapel mic. And they cost, if we go over to, let's just go over, I'll show you some things on Amazon that I use. On Amazon, um, if you look for a lapel mic, you can see they're going to be maybe $30 here. So they're not super expensive. Um, this one would be, a, it's, this is what you need, but I imagine the cord is too short. So you want to look for one that has a longer cord. And uh, when you do that, you'll be able, and you're looking for a, a one with this, this little attachment right here. I can't remember what it's called, like the, what is that called? The 3.5 millimeter, because that can plug into your phone or into a camera. Um, if you're using a more sophisticated camera like I have, it uses a different attachment, like this one right here, that would attach straight into my camera. Um, but make sure it's got a long enough cord that you can set up and have videos. You can also get um, little tripods. So uh, if we look for iPod, or sorry, iPhone tripod, you can see there's some here. These ones even actually give you better lenses. So you can have lens extenders. Um, so not a huge amount of money to be able to turn your iPhone into a little photo studio. Uh, this cam, this one right here is um, it's eleven ninety five. You could get the tripod. Now uh, lighting is important. So I used to recommend lighting kits, and I've just been introduced to the ring light. And I'm not saying the lighting kits aren't good, but these ring lights they're a little bit more pricey, um, but they look great. And it's simple. So when I look at my lighting kit, that's a five-piece lighting kit, it's a little bit challenging to get it set up and get the lighting in the lighting in the right place. Whereas the ring light, your camera goes in the center, and then um, all you have to do is just record, and it creates a nice lighting around your face, it makes you look younger. A lot of makeup artists use it for their videos, um, and it just it's good, good solid, um, good solid option for you. So you don't have to have really extensive equipment, but if you want to, you can. So let's look at lighting kit and backdrop. These are also not as expensive as you might think to get. So for example, this is the lighting kit that I have right here. It was $149.90. comes with a green screen, a white, and a black backdrop. It comes with um, four lights, and so it's a it's considered a five piece kit because you got your backdrop plus your four lights. Again, it's a little bulky to carry around um, if I'm shooting on location, and it's also it's a little tricky to set up. But um, it's definitely not a bad thing to do. It's really useful. In fact, my husband's 
excited to start trying to figure out green screen and putting backdrops in. So uh, there's definitely a lot that you can do here. The other thing you can do is you can get a selfie stick and you can simply make on the go type videos. There are, I want to show you, let's go to YouTube and let's look at some different levels of production. Okay, so um, let's look at Marcy Locke. If I can type this correctly. I can't remember if she has an E at the end of her name or not. Okay, here we go, Marcy Locke. Okay, so Marcy Locke, the majority of her videos are pretty casual. Boom, and we're on. Hey. So that's, here, this is what I'm looking for. She creates a lot of on the go. walking down the truth with Marcy Locke. So, wow. Okay, so she creates a lot of videos like this where it's like a selfie stick and um, she's creating it on the go. She creates about a video a day probably and most of them are pretty casual and she's consistently getting, she's consistently getting um, views. So you can look and see some of her videos have lots of views, some of them have less, uh, but it doesn't have to be super well produced in order to be valuable. So she does like selfie stick model on the go for the majority of her videos. Um, let's look at some of my videos here. Most of my videos, now this one was done and that one was produced, but the majority of my videos I do kind of in between. So like these ones, um, these ones are done in front of my screen. You can see here, and I added on a little bumper at the beginning and the end. But they're done with... Hi everyone, Amy Walker here, and I am seeing extraordinary women... So that video was with a professional camera and a lighting kit and a backdrop. Um, let's, let, let me show you some that were done just honestly from like my a program running on my computer. Um, oh, these are some selfie stick ones. So. You can see the selfie stick ones can still look, you know, nice. Hi, this is Amy Walker, your global impact and wealth strategist. I've got another power tip for you today. It's all about lighting. So whenever I'm doing selfie stick, I move somewhere that has some good lighting and, and you want good sound as well. Okay, so let me go back a little bit farther here and I can show you some that I did that were just simply uh, these. Um, Here we go. Here, we're taking from my computer. Amy Walker here, and welcome to Walk Your Talk TV. Today we are talking about your safety nets and if they are keeping you from reaching the level of success that you want to reach. So that's just done straight like a webinar recording from my computer. So I want you to understand that YouTube is very accessible, and um, creating videos is one, one part of it. And this is something I did not understand when I very first got started. So when I first got started, I looked at YouTube and I thought, I'll just make videos and put them out there. Not so. You need to look at the five-part marketing uh, plan. So you need to look at creating the marketing materials, which is the YouTube video. Then you need to look at the visibility strategy. Are you going to be sending it out in your... Um, in your email list, you're going to be promoting it to your social media following. Are you going to have uh, ask other people to share it for you? What's the visibility strategy? Then I want you to think about how can you capture leads. So one strategy that a good friend of mine, Myron Golden, uses is he uses a three-part strategy. Where part number one is he creates a video and it's a YouTube video and he puts it all over social media and he pays to promote that first video. And then he says for part two, go over to my YouTube channel and you can check out part two. Then part two is on YouTube and at the end of part two it says for part three, to get part three of this series, go to, and he gives them a landing page and you know go to blah 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 page and you'll be able to register for part three. And then they go and they enter in their information so he's actually capturing. Um, that's one way. Another thing you can do, Marie Forleo does this at the end of her videos. She just says, you know, if you like this video, go ahead and click like, share it, subscribe, and more information and where all of the conversation happens in the chat, go to our website. And so that's how you're actually making sure that you're transitioning them because you need to capture those leads. 
then you need to be able to put them into your nurture sequence, and then that's how we can actually create clients and sell from our YouTube channels. So there's some information for you about YouTube. Um, pros, you can create a personal channel, largest social ne uh, media network, short, engaging content. You can direct people to subscribe. Um, you can ask them to share, and then they can go to your page. The cons, it needs to have another opportunity used in conjunction with it because you're not selling on the YouTube video. So it's not necessarily a con, just something to be aware of. Um, for example, if you're doing a YouTube channel and that's how you're generating all the leads, you need to have something else that's going to actually sell to them. So it could be Facebook ads, it could be webinars, it could be something else. Okay, let's look at webinars next, which is one of my favorites. Um, and what you're doing with webinar is it's an online training. You know, I would actually add a conference calls in there as well. Like right now I'm doing conference calls because we have horrible internet access from our house. And so I have to make sure that I can um, actually have fast enough streaming. But I love webinars if you can. So um, for the webinars, it's online training. And you're connecting with clients from across the globe and you can sell on a which I love. So you can have clients calling from Bangladesh if they want to, and you can actually sell right on that. Now, when you are doing webinars in Business Mastery 2, we're going to teach you about sales, and we'll go over some of the things that are a little bit different with selling because on a webinar. Because a webinar, I found that I convert the most when I do, when I mix the live in-person group sales process with a live in-person one-on-one sales process. And when I use components from both of those on the webinar, then I actually do have pretty good conversions. So you're not going to sell as much from a webinar as you would in person. And there is going to need to be more nurture and follow-up afterwards than there would be in person. But it's a really, really good way to do this. Best part of a webinar, you can wear your pajama pants and be on a webinar and as long as you look good up here nobody even knows and I love that it saves me travel time because I can go in do a webinar it's a one hour time commitment come out I'm done back with my family so I'm a big fan of webinars okay the next two are going to involve speaking but they're also going to involve people and connections and they're joint ventures and expert summits so a joint venture we could combine with either a webinar or um, a teleconference or we could combine it with even something like just email marketing. But a joint venture is where you partner up with another business individual and you want somebody with a complementary message or service without a competing message or service. So we want somebody to partner with who knows the same people or serves the same people that we serve, but our products complement each other. They don't compete with each other. So we don't want someone that does the exact same thing as we do. Let me give you some examples of who you wouldn't want to partner with. Let's say that you are a network marketer who sells essential oils. You would not Okay, so then you have another network marketer who sells fitness training, something like Beachbody. Maybe you've got doTERRA and Beachbody. They would seem like, oh, these are perfectly complementary messages because, um, you know, yours is supplements, mine is physical exercise. Totally great, right? Not really because you have a competing business opportunity. So that is going to create competition where your team members might end up on their team and their team members might end up on your team and that's not really what either of you want. So a better example would be I am a beach body coach and I sell, you know, uh, programs, fitness programs. Well, let's get somebody on who coaches in natural health and natural supplements but isn't a network marketer, maybe a natural path doctor, maybe a nutritionist maybe um, a health coach who what they're selling is their services. Now that is a complementary in both levels. It's complementary for product, message, and opportunity because they're, they're not trying to recruit people into their organization. So I absolutely love joint ventures. It's a great way to meet new people. The other thing when Let's say, let's say I partner with, um, well, I'll, I, right now, yesterday morning, I recorded an interview with Kirk Duncan, and we're doing a joint venture together. I love Kirk Duncan. Um, so 
Um, now, when Kirk Duncan, who has a loyal following, says, hey, Amy Walker and I are doing this together, come in and see. Now what's happened is Kirk's people come in and they're warmer leads than if they just met me through a landing page because they've had a referral. Um, think about how you love to get referrals. If somebody says, oh my gosh, my hair person is amazing, I love them, they'll take great care of you, then I'm like, oh cool, versus just calling up and saying, who do you have that's got an open appointment, I don't know anybody. Right? We like referrals. So the joint venture, those leads are a little bit stronger because they almost come in as a referral. Somebody else has put their stamp of approval on you saying, yeah, I'd like to introduce you to my people. On the flip side of that, be careful who you joint venture with because if you joint venture with somebody who does not represent you and what you stand for, that won't be a good fit. So I've got a couple of friends who teach um, uh, fast moving models, you know, like 90 day push and you're going to generate $50,000 in 90 days, which um, is not how I recommend doing business. I think what happens in that push is you get so out of balance that yeah, you can do it for 90 days, but then you feel like you need to take the next four months off putting your family life back together. It's not in harmony with the way that I teach. So that's not somebody that I would joint venture with. I'm not saying their model is wrong, I'm saying it doesn't work for me and it doesn't fit with the way that I teach my clients. So anything that's like a get rich quick, um, really short term push, that it doesn't really fit with me and what I do, so it's not someone I would joint venture with. Does that make sense? So you need to be careful in selecting your partners. Now in the next week where we talk about expert summits, I'm actually going to show you how to find these joint venture partners and you can choose to use them in a one-on-one -on -one model like I do for Straight Talk for Small Biz or you can choose to use them in an expert summit model but it works the same either way. Um, okay, so the cons are um, sometimes you get someone who doesn't, they overpromise, they underdeliver, and I've had that happen been many times where somebody says I've got 50,000 followers but they can't produce two registrations. It can be a challenge. And so you do have people who underproduce and it's not something that we're going to take personally. It's not something that we're going to cry about. We're just going to make a note or actual note and say this is not somebody that we plan to work with again. And that's all we do. And then we just move on. Expert Summits is next. You are going to get next week a great deal of training on Expert Summits. But for today, what is bringing together mul multiple joint venture partners who all have a specific expertise and they have a list of people. And so in uh, January of 2016, I am hosting an Expert Summit with million dollar business owners. So everybody who's there has passed the million dollar mark in business. And what we're doing is about seven of us, I believe. And what we're doing is we're all promoting to our list for this expert summit. And then everyone on our list can register and then they'll get one interview a day that they get to listen to that is a million dollar business owner talking about what they did to build their business. So that's an example of an expert summit. It's a joint venture on steroids. We get a whole lot more people in at once. The things that I love about it um, it can generate a lot of leads in a short period of time. So like I've gotten as high as 3,000 leads in a two-week window from doing exits. And I'm not claiming that's the biggest, highest ever. I'll, next week I'll explain why I do expert summits the way that I do. There are some people who are generating you know, 30,000 leads in a three-week window through an expert summit, but there's a reason I do and I'll explain it next week. But it generates it's a lot of leads in a short period of time. The other thing I love about it is it establishes relationships with high level people. And so now that I have done joint ventures with so many people um, and they see me as somebody who's a mover and a shaker in the industry and doing things, now I can reach out to them for other hey, you want to come speak at my live event? Or would you like to train my people? Or hey, I saw you're doing it a live event. I would love to be here at that. Are you accepting submissions? And so we're really, you know, we're looking for how we can create high level relationships because in the online world, I'm just saying, relation, well, offline too, relationship capital is huge. 
the friends that you have and the relationships that you create because there are people that if I like they'll have my back and I'll have theirs if they call me and say Amy I'm doing my new launch would you be open to promoting it sure because they've promoted me in the past I'm happy to promote them so those relationships are powerful the thing I love about expert summits is it's very low cost to run for the amount of leads that you get I mean I look at let's say on Facebook you're getting um, oh, got an eyelash in my eye Let's say on Facebook you're getting six dollar leads, okay? Uh, at, which is, you know, three to six pretty good. So three to six dollars, let's just do the math here. Um three thousand times six dollar lead and eighteen thousand dollar investment to get those three thousand dollar leads. Whereas I can virtually for free. If I wanted to do everything, it would be free. I don't do everything myself and so I do pay my team to produce things like landing pages and registration links. So there is some cost um, but it's very very low comparatively. So the con, um, you, you convert the leads into sales more slowly than you do in some other things because what happens during the summit is they're very distracted um, with all the other experts and so you're competing for their attention. So what you do is after the expert summit, you get them in conversation with just you and then you start the conversions. But I find that sales in an expert summit are lower than for example sales on a joint venture webinar. I can offer a product on a joint venture webinar, people will buy it right then and then they'll start converting quickly. The expert summit brings in more at once but they take longer to convert. All right, this is your first online training video. This is all about the speaking opportunities that you have online and uh, go ahead and click to your next video.